sponsored by. I wish. You guys got polar. I got a ha. Aha. There's a secret meaning behind that. There's a meaning there. That's right. <laughs> Look under your cup. Nope. I'm sorry. No prizes there. We could get like a sponsorship, you think? Uh, uh, yeah, I, like, I do uh, think that. The mayor's favorite drink. So there you go. <laughs> exactly. Starting today, it's his very favorite drink. Oh, no, you're putting that away now. Uh, I need space. Yeah, I, yeah. I, can I, I can do a little more. You, oh, you're fine. Oh, so someone she'll, she'll have it popped up and we'll be able to see you. Sort of, no guarantees here. Not yeah. quite yet. We're <laughs> all supposed to do something. We're doing a script. Uh, <laughs> it was tell us some stories. Well. <laughs> There's my face. Oh, my God. Ah, let's settle in. Let's see here. We can talk about, what we're going to talk about is our weekend. That's what we're going to start with. Yeah. If we're cool. ready to um, yeah, you chit chat. Yeah. So I don't know if you, did you end up at the Taste of Clarkson? Yeah, I walked, to, walked through it, okay. down and back, and we're aware of it. I posted on it, a little yeah. bit a lot going on, the uh, Hutchinson's flag. I just love that. That is truck. really That's nice a cool stuff. thing. I love Wendell. Yeah. And then stopped at the Optimist tent there and yeah. jogged with people for a while. So yeah. I threatened to get my face painted, but I thought that would be oh really blank or something, you know. You know. <laughs> Well, was was that one free? I know the caricature artist was free. Was it your daughter that was at the little tattoo things on her? Probably. Yeah, they were there a lot. I saw. It. Yes. yes. Well, somebody took her picture. It was cool. Yeah, I mean, you know this were there. Oh, yeah, let me see. Them. They were there a couple times at the Henna Uh Yeah, I think we spent uh, thirty dollars at the Henna Oh, bet you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was super fun this weekend. We were there at the Go Board. We didn't see it, but it was really busy and um, oh, I know. a lot of people. So that's um, that is Kennedy. Yeah. I see. Yeah. See your wrist and everything. Oh, yeah. Super that cute. Cool. Where, I sell it? Yeah. I'll sell it to you. Okay. Uh, where was that? Where'd you find that picture? Uh, no, that's a good question. Because I was looking around. This one is delete. You see? Um, oh, it, it must have been on Facebook. I'll, I'll think of it and let you know. Are we not? We're facing we not? the wrong direction. <laughs> we're uh, sideways. And we're sideways. Yeah. If we just lean a little bit like this. <laughs> we can fix anything. <laughs> Let's see. That's all right. So um, we were there and we're on, we were on Washington by the, you know, where the end cap was the almond hut. That was the last one before um, the end of Washington. Like East Washington? Yeah. All right, right to south? Yeah, no, other side. Okay. Um, toward Hold On. I didn't study everyone, but. Yeah, I remember we running that. I noticed that Cosmo was, I mean, they bought a banner wow. sponsorship. Okay. So they, was it Cosmo? They were on like every every side. Well, they Cosmo. were, yeah. Oh, yeah. they were on every side. I've been very, I've been very intrigued by the uh, the sponsorship idea here with right. the chamber and how they make money and everything like yes. that, and what they do for their customers. Because I want to integrate a lot of this stuff with the park going forward. Yeah, that's They've had 40 years of concerts in that park. But they don't have a band shell. That's okay. pretty crazy. So I'm talking to him about it, and I, I know Kendall's going like, "Leave me alone! I don't want to do with this." <laughs> Kendall's for sure going to watch this. Just and Katie, yeah. Okay, so yeah. They were here for our last see. live, so you know. I saw Amy. I saw Amy. Amy. Oh yeah. I can't Amy. pronounce her last name. But tower. Uh, tower. Yeah, I'm with you. Tower. I, I use tower. <laughs> I'm not French, so. Okay. If anybody's like watching, our one watt viewer. Coming together here. Just it's a little, well, now we're yeah, I, I know. I feel like she should be doing this. Uh, we are in need of. What, what would here. be the person we're who does there. this? Uh, somebody that knows tech. We need Jan, but Thanks. out in the world. Okay, it's yeah, you're pretty good. Oh, that's good, Katie. You want it? Yeah, you want it vertical then, huh? I would think well, the landscape would be better for you, but maybe. I don't think it shows up right on landscape. And does it look like we're facing the right way? Yes, we are facing. Um, yeah, and you can Anne's read. in there. I'm in there. And you can read Clarkson mugshots too. too. Amazingly. Okay, push you back. Okay. See you can get you us all in here. See how, see how the lighting goes, like in and out, like that. I do see that. I'm not sure why. It's a mood thing. It's a mood thing. Yeah. It's, it's like a mood thing. Put that out for both. Lava lights. It's a lot. Woo! Okay. Oh my goodness, not too close. Now we're a little foot too close. Yeah, there, so Anne, close. Anne's out of this. That's perfect. I need Anne for that. Yeah, that's perfect. I know, I think it's, uh, that lighting is going to be better. There you go. That's fine. My phone might just readjust. But you don't have a cameraman that you can't go and from person to person. And then, let's see, Instagram. I know. <clears throat> it's interesting because your camera is adjusting automatically. Uh, I know, and I think it needs to be closer for it to stop doing that. But oh, I think it looks so too yeah. close. And our so somebody gets left out. Um, Katie's gonna be a she, there's a stop. Oh, right you're, in, you're in, you're in, you're in. Oh, that's right. That's, 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 you <laughs> I put hope in your that chair, this so is good entertainment. If people are liking the way we start our podcast, 
this is really we just. We do outtakes, can't we? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just one long stream. <laughs> this is how we advertise for someone to help us. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Hey. We all need that. Friends and People Park needs so much of this. Town. All right. Yeah. I think yeah. that we need to come together. On that. Good. I think we're good. Yeah. I think you're doing a fantastic job. Probably is... somebody's going to want to hire us. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, so, oh my goodness. Okay. Well, one question I not question. One thing I wanted to talk about was. I'm not sure where I'm looking, but um, Wiltsies. So Kevin and I went to this show at Wiltsies, mm -hmm. you know, the Honeycomb under Essence on Main this weekend. Are we were taping? very, yes, this oh, is all, all right. we're all, we have been for that whole, that whole oh, yeah, debacle. I don't fun. think you're going <laughs> to. I think it's going to be. <laughs> okay. But this is, I want to just make a little shout out because Brandon Still, who runs this, um, I guess it's called, and Ilzy and I were talking about this, uh, a movement. Yeah. This thing, it, this wow, music venue because it's not a place because it started out in Main Street co-working. Yeah. Still same name, but it can right. basically happen anywhere. And it did. So the the bottom of the essence I mean is called Honeycomb, and we saw Matt Bestrickson and his band. Amazing! It was essence. Yeah, it's right underneath there. Have you been down there? Such a cool no, venue. I didn't know it was a basement. I've been oh, down there. Oh my gosh! Top in there or something. Yes. Oh, All right, God. we can just can cameras on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I didn't know about the general store on South Pole. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's a, that's Which is where we are. Where we are currently. Yes. Yeah. But, yeah, so we just we had a little a few things we want to talk about before we get into the Friends of Depot Park and what's happening. Yeah. So we talked about a little bit about Taste of Clarkson. It was really fun. Thanks for everybody visiting our booth and playing Plinko. Wiltsies, and then we've got some upcoming things. Yes, well. uh, so Parks and Rec has got a few fun Halloween things coming up, and I just don't know when we'll do another live. I know. Uh, we didn't know we were going to do this one until like yesterday, so. <laughs> uh, just in case you don't see us for a couple weeks, uh, they're doing Howl Oween, which is a pet casting contest. Oh, cute. Um, and we'll put some links and pictures yeah. um, on this. It's like Yappy Hour was down there. Yeah. Morgan Wilson. Did you know about Yappy Oh, I did not. That was a dog I've thing, too. Don't cool. they do that like once Emily a month, maybe? Where you can well, bring your dog? Maybe. Okay. Next one's a pumpkin fest. And you may have that oh, in your that's cute. Card. Okay, well, I don't. But we'll look into it and we'll share about ask, that. Ask Emily. Um, a pumpkin carving contest. Also through Parks and Rec. That's always fun. And then this Saturday is the Friendly Forest. Ooh, and I believe there are still tickets available. So... We'll post links to all of those, but fun upcoming Halloween things going on in town. Yeah. Yeah. But we really wanted to do the live to have the mayor on the mic. Yes. Right. <laughs> Alliteration. Alliteration yeah. is our best friend. Connecting Clarks. So yeah, we gotta I keep love going it. With I feel this. it. We gotta keep going. Mm -hmm. uh, but so we, we could um, have you come in and chat about some of the latest happenings, especially with Depot Park, because it's just the crown jewel of the town, and I know you have a lot going on there. So if you could just talk about what the latest is and maybe some ways that people can get involved and help these movements and these. How much time do you have? Woo! Um, <laughs> one hour. It's a hard stop in an hour. Hard stop We're thinking hour. like a half hour, but. Cut me off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is one of my favorite subjects, <laughs> okay. for sure. And I agree with you, it's the jewel. And uh, it's really kind of a sacred trust in a way, that, that part. Uh, it's a it's a massive asset we have. It doesn't look massive. I mean, the developed part is small. It's probably one seventh of the overall park. I don't know if you're aware of that. Mm. Yeah. Our wetlands to the west is all part of the park. Yeah. And that's why we talked about a, a river walk or a um, through a wetlands prairie. I mean, these are kind of romantic terms, but I mean, it has all that. But it's already started. We were kayaking through there just two days ago, and there's already a path, a couple paths. Created like from one of the streams to in the Mill Race, yeah, to um, White Lake Road right there. There's a path. Oh, yes, I can explain that. Yeah, tell us about that. To you, it started with uh, trying to remove native, uh, invasive species yeah. okay. like buckthorn and uh, the Phragmites. Phragmites, yeah. so that's what I'm Anyway, it, we the path sort of emerged. It was it is high ground. And we think that's where Henry Ford, when he dug the mill race, mm -hmm. pulled out some of this dirt. We think there's more than one of those little worms in through there. Huh. So uh, part of our initial early planning was that we would use that as sort of a uh, jump start for the overall bigger plan. In other words, you can take, you can leave the parking lot there at the beach, walk down toward the mill race, and get to the mill race and see it and go, wow. Yeah. It's like discovering the Pacific. You know, yeah. like, 
<laughs> anyway, but it didn't quite turn out that way for a couple reasons. One is, um, one of the problems with these kind of projects is it, they have to be a bridge to somewhere. Mm -hmm. If they're a bridge to nowhere, they go south. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we were hoping we'd, we'd get more of a vast view of the of noise and so on to create the vision, but that didn't happen. The other thing was that um, it is a berm. It is higher than the surrounding area okay. somewhat, so which is which is wet. Yeah. But it wasn't quite high enough, mm. and um, we we ground up the um, invasive species that we found there and put, put them down to some amount of a wood chip. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't enough. We knew we'd have to bring in more if we were going to become serious. The good part, the good news was that Eagle, the um, Agency in Lansing that approves mm -hmm. the DEQ. Mm -hmm. They uh, they said you don't need a permit for this. You can do this, and so we didn't have to go through the permitting process and expense of all that time. But um, the thing we ran into was the other piece of it is is it accessible to everyone? Mm -hmm. And then you have to answer the ADA question: yeah. Can you roll wheelchairs on it, and so on? Are the angles right, and all that? So yeah. it got more complex really quickly. Sure. And then we went and got our, our skid steer, which is a little mini caterpillar tractor that the city owns, stuck in the muck there, oh, no. and it pulled it out. Oh, geez. So we realized, then we had a, a lady come up from the county, and she sort of reflected on for the bigger picture, and she said, um, you may want to consider doing something along the, the, the uh, asphalt pathway that runs along White Lake Road into town. Okay little outlets along there mm. rather than go off into the mm. now that was nice to think about we still could think about those kinds of things but it gets us away from the mill race yeah. which is what we wanted to get snuggled up to right you know? so it's kind of back burner right now um, and so that's you brought that one up so I said, yeah I was uh, through there the other weekend I thought oh what's happening because it looks like there's some ideas that have been you know started so that's mm -hmm. interesting to see where it's at. We're poking at it. Poking yeah, at it. So I feel like there's like. a lot of uh, interesting things going on in the area right now. You had shared with us about the Love Locks. Mm. Um, yeah. And I know I stopped by and I really want to do that. I think it's so cute. Yeah. Um, yeah. So people have been putting padlocks on the bridge. bridge. Does that bridge have a name? Well, that's interesting. I don't know. It does have a name. It was, okay. it was, uh, it was funded and the, the lady who put the, all the philanthropic mm -hmm. money together is Jenny Schultz. She's okay. been Roberts and Court, you may have known Jenny and Jim. Yeah. They're very active uh, before, and they moved up north. And Jenny moved up north, and Jim passed away. But anyway, uh, she raised the funds for that, and the names of the people who contributed that are on a rock right beside that bridge. So oh, nice. if you want to go back and commemorate oh, or anything like that, yeah. we love the commemoration theme oh, yeah. in the park. So Jenny put it in, but it's not been called anything. Okay. But it's one of the two major big, I call bones of the park. Uh, that one crosses the mill race, which needs to happen mm -hmm. for sure. But then the other one was the Bark Clark Bridge at the other end. Okay. I don't know if you remember Bark Clark. He was one of the Clark mm -hmm. uh, heirs and so on. Here's probably the wrong word. But um, he, uh, he was, was a... Was he a Clark leader. brother? No, not? Not, oh, too okay. many generations Much later. Okay. The two gen Jeremiah and Nelson were the two brothers that okay. the town was named after. But there have been multiple generations of many Clarks. Okay. It's got kind of really cool three. But anyway, Bart was a nuclear submarine commander. He was amazing. He was on the Fred Union Park for a short time, then he died. Okay. We were so sad to see mm -hmm. him go. So, but anyway, he and his wife, Diane, um, in, in honor of his brother, I think, brother or cousin, um, put that, that other bridge in, mm, that okay. beautiful other yeah. bridge at the south end. Uh, those are both nice bridges. I mean, yeah. they're permanent. Okay, so, yeah. Well, those are nice investors. And then when sure. you're talking about um, just like the people that have contributed to bringing those together, um, how is it moving along with the living memorials? Is that underway? How you guys were looking for um, basically sponsors? Oh. And the QR codes? I'm sure you have better words to explain that than one. Well, you said QR. QR it, it creates some thoughts. It, QR is new technology. I mean, it's not new technology, it's older technology now, but nevertheless, it went away and then came back again. Right. But it, excuse me. <laughs> it's, it come back and you see it everywhere now. You see it on restaurant tabletops, you, know, you see it on actual stores. People put them on their, their stores and everywhere. So it's a way to immediately connect uh, the phone reader to a website or what we call a landing page, mm -hmm. you know, and that's yeah. a powerful tool. Which you have on that um, newest bridge, so you've got that going down there. I, I thought 
we had talked a long time ago about having that be an access point to hopefully get funding for new pavilions and mm -hmm. other um, more permanent benches. structures and benches yeah. and stuff. Is that something that's gained traction or is that kind of back burner right now? Well, no, it's, it's interesting. Everything is incremental and it takes time. Yeah. You know, one idea leads to another idea to another idea. And another thing. But we have a group of people who really care in the Friends. Mm -hmm. And so we're just exercising. We'll, we'll try things. Yeah. And, uh, and somebody once said uh, the uh, the value of, um, of trial and error is it's not the not the chance of success, but the worth of the cost. Mm -hmm. So you can try things, you can fail at them, that's okay. Sure. But you keep trying, mm -hmm. and eventually you find the pathway. Thomas Edison was quoted as uh, saying that uh, he tried 5,000 uh, filaments for his light bulb. Okay. And some reporters said, why don't you give up? He said, well, I just know 5,000 ways it don't work. <laughs> you know? So that's the way we are, kind of. Okay. We're kind of poking at it and seeing. Yeah. And we're trying to take uh, public temperature right now. Mm -hmm. We've been encouraged to do that, and I think it's a good thing. So the next step is we have a couple of events at the library, one this Friday. Yep. And I'm trying to get the word out on that because it's a scheduling thing. We've got to do it sooner or rather later. Then the following Friday as well. Okay. What time? So two Fridays at 7 o'clock. Okay. Uh, the library. Julie's helping us with that a lot. Okay. We're going to publish it as soon as I can get the template you know, for it. We're going to put it out on Facebook and so on. So that is a meeting you're discussing the five-year plan. Is it just for Depot Park or is it for the whole town? But for the park. For the park. park. Okay, this is exclusively and about the park. it's conceptual. Okay. I mean, yeah. it's been, again, noted several times that uh, council's not approved this. Okay. But council's aware of it. And we take it one step at a time. But council is the governing, determining factor mm -hmm. with what we do in the park. It's the city's park. Yeah. So we understand that. So the, the friends activity is generating ideas and mm -hmm. showing them to people and getting public response yeah. to that. And then the council gets to watch all this. Mm -hmm. And then when somebody says, well, let's do this one next, or if there's money available to do this one next, we say, okay, let's roll this out. Let's get three bids and all that kind of stuff and define the project. Well, then take it to council. And then they can have at it, you know, think about it, and approve it if they want to. Then it would go in the park. So, just to back it up, because I don't know that I'm totally understanding. Um, so, the council has not approved the five-year plan, and is that what's being discussed at the library on Friday? Yes, the five-year plan is in incremental. So, in okay. other words, it, it's a collection of a lot of ideas, mm -hmm. you know, that have been thought about for quite a while. So, they're not new ideas necessarily, but we've uh, sort of collected them on a board and so on. And at the library we'll do some slides as well. Of these so ideas. I know one was uh, one thought on there where the lights for depot, yes. right? And then what are the other ideas that are kind of being discussed at that meeting? We have a brand new one which is really kind of interesting. Uh, it's an arch for the entrance mm -hmm. to the park. That, uh, Park and Depot Park. Yeah. And it's really pretty. I mean, I could send you a oh, yeah, 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 so Was there a mock up of that? Yes, we, we modeled uh, the, the initial design off what's in Cadillac, Cadillac Plaza okay. in North, and our designer, huh. Jim Epic, uh, took and sort of photoshopped it to make it Clarkston Depot Park, but it's gorgeous. Oh, nice. really I saw gorgeous. it, and I thought it was beautiful, and I, it looked so realistic that I thought it must be there, and I no. just didn't. Where did you see it? <laughs> <laughs> no, on Facebook. Oh, was I think I, it yeah, yeah, it's a flamethrower, oh, right? Okay. We'll stick it out there and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've got to throw ideas out and see what's there. Well, sure. Yeah. So the lighting, um, so I love that idea. I love the lights that are currently over on the other side, but you're thinking of lighting up the play area, right? Is that the kind of? Yeah, last year I took a picture and I posted it as well, how dark it was on the, on the east side yeah. of the mill race. And uh, we lost, actually lost our grandson in there for a while. He was running around, couldn't find him. You know, kind of a little bit scary. Yeah. But they had the hayride wagon going around the playground mm -hmm. there. And it, so, you can't see kids and so on running around like they do. You've got to be a bit scary. So we proposed, and this sort of dovetail with our work with the optimists, uh, they, they, they look at projects we're doing and they say we like that. So um, we thought about 10, it can work up about 12 grand to put uh, steel cabling on both sides and then string um, professionally, and this is the difference between what's there now, okay. professionally string lights. There are two watt bulbs, they're very silent, they're like little night lights, basically mm -hmm. each one, but they shine okay. enough down. You're a popular guy yeah. here this morning. Sally is going to call you back. Sally. Sally. Yeah. Yeah. Type your question. Yeah. 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 Sally was a drama. Facebook support, Live. So. Yeah. We'll see what she wants. But anyway, no, the lights is kind of up in the air right now. Okay. The, uh, the, as a matter of fact, the council turned it down last mm -hmm. meeting. Okay. So 
people have said, well, it's for lack of information. It's like, mm -hmm. uh, what's the gestation period on an idea? Yeah. That's kind of what you go through. Yeah. And I've always said, don't surprise anybody. And we didn't surprise them on this one, but nevertheless, there were some, some questions. And so okay. we're trying to address all those questions, bring it back to them, and uh, see what they say then. Um, because I did see you put it out on Facebook. And I thought it was interesting because when you joined us on our other podcast mm -hmm. uh, in Independence Television, um, you had kind of teamed up with us to do some like Ask the Mayor features in mm -hmm. our newsletter, just stating that one of your main goals was really to have a lot of communication with the community. Um, and so, I mean, I think you do that a lot on Facebook. And I but know. It's a limited readership, though, is it? Sure. Yeah. Um, but I saw you had posted about, like, what are your thoughts on Depot and the lights. Mm -hmm. And I know I read it, and I initially was thinking, like, who wouldn't want lights down there? Like, and Ann and I had talked about mm -hmm. it, of course. Like, that seems great. But then there were a lot of valid questions that came into mm -hmm. play. Um, and so, I mean, I appreciate that you opened it up for a discussion, and it sounds like that discussion is just going to continue on at the library. So, yep. if you're somebody who's super interested right. into it, in it, um, and like having questions answered, that's going to be a good place to go. Absolutely. It's a public okay. forum, okay. which is what we wanted. And again, these public meetings, I've seen them in the past, 13 people show up. You know, right. Thing, yeah. and, and you're, and you're just Not after this. Not after this. Well, maybe this no. What's well, going viral here? Only. Yep. <laughs> so you're from Southeast Asia. So see. Yes. <laughs> So that, but you know, this is one of several uh, ventures we're doing because the uh, the encouragement was strong to get public input. Yeah. So I went on Facebook, three different pages on Facebook to do that, and then we went to the library thing, a couple of iterations of that. Mm -hmm. And again, we had time; we had a couple of months here before we have to kind of do the installation before the Christmas market, oh. which is where the darkness set in uh, last year. You know, yeah, yeah. so we're trying to prevent that happening again. Mm -hmm. But then what we also want to do a, a more detailed and, um, which I say, mathematically you know, accurate count of the residents. So we're sending out a mailer uh, in an envelope with pictures mm -hmm. and a little survey asking people to thumbs up or thumbs down. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep it simple yeah. because you can get off on a, a zillion quagmire tangents in the weeds and you'll never get anywhere. Right. So just you'll like the idea. Right. And then we'll see what that population looks like. We can develop a hierarchy you know, of interest yeah. in it, and so pick them off. Mm -hmm. Now, the hierarchy might not meet the cash flow, you know, right. even of that. So you have to kind of weigh that together. But we'll do that. We'll do all of that. But the fact that people are interacting is beautiful. That's and I mean, with putting it out to Facebook, I feel like you're getting a lot of people from a lot of different areas weighing in on it. Yeah. Um, ultimately, does it come down to residents of the city of the village making that decision, or is it... It comes down to the city council. It, Okay. So city council is elected to represent the constituency okay. in this one half square mile village. Yeah, got it. But at the same time, and the reason I did the Facebook thing was I wanted regional input. Okay. Because it's a regionally visited park. Yeah. Everybody, people from 50 miles around think they live in Clarkston yes. because of the two postal zip codes yeah. and the school system and all that. Yeah. Yeah. It comes on their, their letters, their envelopes say Clarkston. And yeah. they say, yes, I live in Clarkston. You know? yeah. Yeah. So it, both are true. Yes. Both are true. So you just got to honor all that. Yeah. Have kids have their senior pictures taken mm -hmm. there, and all yeah. that stuff, and the weddings, and, and the homecoming. Oh my goodness. So we want to just make this as nice as possible. So the letters that you're sending out with the pictures and the ideas, is that going just to the, the village residents? Yes. Though? Okay. Because yeah. I feel like you, in the end, if, if it does get approved by the council, you'll probably be seeking funding from the greater township. I would imagine you, there's going to be some fundraising efforts going on mm -hmm. or something like this. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. but. And that would come from the whole township, I would assume. All the people who use the, the park would be involved. In Idealistically, that. that's true. I mean, you don't know exactly where the money's going to come from ever. Yeah. Right. And people are you know, conservative and they're, they watch their funds. Mm -hmm. and, all that and then with the money coming from the Athenas, the 11, 12,000 that's been discussed, um, is that just to install the lights? Is well, uh, we're working through that. What okay. they did was they, they gave us 25,000. We posted on that online. Yeah. You can see that yeah. as well. Uh, and, and recognize them in a meeting for that. Uh, in the letter that they gave to us, they were primarily interested in a picnic pavilion. So okay. they, they mentioned that. Yeah. But a picnic pavilion starts uh, for one of the smaller ones, about 35000 yeah. So they gave us twenty five the first year and twenty the next two subsequent years. So 65000 overall. Okay. Uh, so there wasn't enough cash flow wise, again, to get back to cash flow. What yeah. can you do? So we, uh, we, we looked at some low hanging fruit in the area where that affects them most because it is their, we've named it their playground. Now it's, it's Optimus yeah. Playground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you have a situation that's somewhat incompatible, in my view, you have a playground that's there and the kids can go there after dark, but they can't see. Yeah. 
you know. So I think they'll be visual interest. I'm meeting with them later in the week just to confirm that I don't want to overcommit yeah. them to anything. Right. So it's kind of like they have an interest in how the money gets spent because their focus is kids. Yeah. You know, and then kids extrapolate into families somewhat. Right. But what is that nuance there? Um, yeah. Also, with the lights, would they have like running hours? Would they get shut off at a certain time? That's been talked about too. Okay. There's two little ways to look at that. Okay. One is security. How long yeah. do you want security to be there? Yeah. You, know, you want to shut security off at 10 o'clock when mm -hmm. the park closes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think the public, at least initially, we may start with just 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. starting yeah. when the park closes with that, and then see what people say. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I will say that the lights that are there, which are back with the kind of homeowner kind of lights, you know, mm -hmm. uh, they look nice, but they were just kind of strung between the trees right. kind of thing. Uh, were desired to be kept up. People said, let's leave it up for the skating rink, mm -hmm. which happened in January. Right. Yeah. And they're still up right now. Yeah. I looked at them last night. Yeah. You know, they're, so they've been there a year. Yeah. Wow. What kind of po uh, feedback have we gotten? All positive. Uh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. So, so it sounds like the Friends of Devo Park and the council and everybody, there's all these different project ideas, which is really cool. There's different ideas. There's big ideas like a band shell. Uh, river walk. Theater, river walk. The river yeah. walk is a huge idea. Yeah, Lighting is not as big, but still costly. Yeah. But I like that there's all, all different, like you know, um, different ideas and different sizes of projects. Because yeah. you can't do them all, but no. it's good to think big because there's a. Sure. You, know, you, you can find somebody with deep pockets. You could. Like you think good. about 25 years from now, what's yeah. it going to look like, and what are people going to, how are they going to use the park and that kind of thing. So right, uh, I, I think, think that's forward. Cool. Yeah, I think sometimes too things like the lighting. Um, draws in people, you know, the aesthetics of it. Mm -hmm. and just, I say romance. Yeah, right. I love that term for that place. I think well, that's... it also gets dark really early starting, you know, in a month. I mean, five. that's not, yeah. yeah, you're kind of cutting out the time the kids can use the park by not having that's right. in, in my opinion. But I do think it's nice that there's such an uh, open community conversation about it, because I know mm -hmm. even somebody had shared on what you posted, like, what about using solar lights? And mm -hmm. I think sometimes, like the initial idea, and Ann and I are going through this right now with a cool project we're hoping to start. Yeah. Where originally we we're like, let's do it and get it done real fast. And then as we picked it apart, it was like, oh, there's probably better ways to do this. Mm -hmm. And sure. yeah, forming a focus group. Exactly. Yeah, it's not about it. Yeah, yeah. So, it's cool. Yeah. What? So what other uh, projects or what other um, issues are on the? Top of mind. Right so now. we mentioned we mentioned the arch, which mm -hmm. I think is really a cool, That's very cool uh, yeah. visual, and we'll process that in the library. Then the lighting, which is really low hanging fruit, we could afford it if we uh, miss agree for this time moving forward. Uh, then uh, gazebo, the gazebo has been there a long time. Gazebo mm -hmm. was was built with uh, with the funding from Barb Thompson, okay. whose husband was Ted Thompson. And today I'm, I'm maybe stretching you probably out. Is this baseball? No. No, this was a. Uh, Community okay. leadership. Oh, Ted Thompson was on <laughs> leadership. No, no, you could go yeah. there. Okay. You know, there's, there's a lot of names in this. But anyway, Ted was a very interesting guy. Uh, he, he died uh, many years ago, probably 30 years ago. Um, I guess at least. Oh, I'm only 29. So there you know. go. Not there you go. So that explains it. <laughs> <laughs> missed it. <laughs> he just missed it. Just missed it. Here. But, uh, but his wife then gave the money for that because he would have put up an insider. So if you go mm -hmm. up in the middle, you'll see a brass plate in, yep. uh, on the floor there. Mm -hmm. it, uh, I think it says Barb Thompson, you know, in honor of Ted, mm -hmm. her husband, which is nice. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the, the, it was built in the day before ADA and so on. So you yeah. got to climb a whole bunch of stairs to yeah. get up into it. And the bands, when they get in there, it's kind of like, where's the band? It's in there somewhere. Yeah. And the acoustics are not made for projection right. house. Right. So that, um, so two things. One is we, we think we need to lower the gazebo. Mm -hmm. And so we're looking at What's nice about building, like the pavilions, is we can get kits for these, which means all the volunteers come to you pre-cut and everything ready to put together with breakfast and everything. You just gather your volunteers around, you know, to make it happen. So it's like a barn raising almost in Amish days. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so the, the gazebo needs to be lowered. Okay. We tried a, uh, a grant with the uh, DNR a few years ago, and we're not able to get the cash flow to make it mm -hmm. pull it off, so we declined it. We did get 20 grand at that time. From the people, so we did part of what we promised them, and that was we put in the tarmac paths around the playground. Yeah. Okay, so we have better paths yes. today. But in terms of the gazebo, they had designed a ramp that went all the way around the damn thing. You know, kind of mm -hmm. thing. It was it was ugly. You know, mm -hmm. it would create it would accomplish ADA, but you didn't really want it when you done. Yeah. So the way to solve that problem is to lower the whole thing. All okay. right. So yeah. that's likely what we'll probably do mm -hmm. if we ever get that far. Okay. Um, so that's the gazebo piece. But then that leads to a discussion about another uh, item on our, our uh, wish list, 
and that is a band shell. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be a for real yeah. kind of small stage, appropriately sized to the part. Sure. But be down at the other end, it could also house uh, dressing rooms mm -hmm. uh, for, for artists which want them yeah. like coming in, as well as perhaps bathrooms. We need bathrooms at that. Yeah. So we'll put it at the west end down where you come in from Deer Lake Beach. So we have bathrooms at that end, and then bathrooms are in the building. You know, so we're accomplishing cool. more facilities yeah. for that. But again, that's, that's a good price tag on yeah. you know, all these things. But we'll see what generates public interest. Fun yeah. ideas, though. Yeah, worth discussing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I also was wondering, not to be a hot button issue, but the dam, has that been taken over by the county not yet? yet? No. But soon, right? We're, well, we're going through a process. Not as soon as we'd like. Okay. And not as soon as the owners would like. Or I'm the sure. Would like. <laughs> but uh, it is hope. It's first for the first time in a long time, been a light at the end of the tunnel yeah. you know, okay. for, for this for this issue. And I think people are working together fairly well. Yeah. Yeah, we've had our ups and downs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You no know, fun intended for the fun. But, <laughs> for the fun. but nevertheless, uh, it's we it's sort of reached equilibrium. People understand each other. Uh, Jim Mark Walder on Main Street, a brilliant guy, has been measuring this mm -hmm. thing with a very simple apparatus, but mm -hmm. very effective. Yeah. And posting it online, I've just seen it. Like, here it is. Yeah, it's like a little, a little <laughs> yeah. calibrated yeah. level, you know. <laughs> right. you know? But he knows exactly what a degree means, you know, in feet and yeah, inches right. and so on. So anyway, that's going on. But anyway, Eagle, from again from the state, gave us a hundred thousand dollars, hundred and six thousand overall. Not quite that we have, we put in ten. Anyway, around number a hundred thousand. And so that money's been used. You may have seen the drone flights over. Mm -hmm. I posted on some of that kind of mm -hmm. like there. They're analyzing a company called Fishback that's doing the actual work for the county. But they're, they're, they're doing things like uh, looking at size and, and uh, understanding analytically what's going yeah. on in the pond and looking at um, uh, the septic fields and all that kind of stuff. So what the idea is that the first thing that has to happen is you have to set the lake, legal lake level. In other words, where should that water come at its maximum yeah. relative to the dam and the spillway? Mm -hmm. So they're, they're all in the process of establishing that. We'll get the report. December, January. So we're missing oh, the next funding cycle, which yeah. pushes it out one more year. Yeah. And that can't be helped. We both yeah. that. Okay. But nevertheless, uh, they're doing the work, and so the residents will have a proposal before them around year end, or first part of the year, to say, yes, we like the plan, no, we don't. Mm -hmm. Then the question will be, how do we fund construction? Mm -hmm. And we're hopeful that since uh, Eagle already gave us 100, and they see dams as a big issue yeah. in our state, yeah. that they might come through and finish the project but no guarantee. So we'll make application for grants, and I asked Ryan Wallace, who was at the last meeting, he's an engineer for the county, do you think, um, are there other grants we can get? He didn't think so. So it may be a special assessment district, we don't know mm -hmm. exactly what's gonna happen there, but there's a solution, we just have to get from here to there. Yeah. Make it happen, so. It's all happening. Progress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Takes time. <laughs> of course. Wheels of justice, first of all. <laughs> Any other hot uh, items that you need to get out to the people? Well, I would say uh, probably a universally felt need here is, is traffic calming on Main Street. Calming? Calming. Okay. Um, well, it has different ways of looking at it. Yeah. The the big trucks and the speeding cars yeah. create vibration on Main mm. Street, which really shakes these old houses okay, okay. and causes those, those stone foundations to be threatened. Uh, and so there's a desire for M15 to be slow, but it is a straight state trunk line. Yeah. Well, the state said we own it, and so it, it'll, it'll house trucks. Mm. And we watch trucks go right down the main street, big ones, and yeah. trucks. We had two of them, remember one hit the Venice office oh, yeah, yeah. there, and the other one plowed through Bri Brioni's at the other end of town. Yeah. And those are, you go, they see, you know, but yeah. people, yeah, so it's a process you have to go through. Mm. But, but one of the things that um, the Planning Commission is looking at with the help of SEMCOG is uh, maybe some narrowing. We may be able to do something either bike path esque or just maybe superficially marking it esque. So the people have to go slower. They go. Yeah. The, the one thing that's been very successful is that little um, little figure down at Hancho, right where you cross the street at Hancho oh, yeah. and Harris's oh, right. yeah. grocery store. Yeah. People people honor that yeah. and they come to a full stop and just and say go in cars. You know? So it's really that, that. that's yeah. nice. But trucks still keep going through, so yeah. we haven't effectively done traffic coming. Mm -hmm. okay. But that's a big one. There's a spot here on Holcomb where there, I think there used to be lines like that crosswalk by Hanjo, and I think it's supposed to be that similar concept where the pedestrians are right away, but it's been faded and you know, maybe not a priority, uh, or maybe it wasn't the intention, I'm not sure, but just something that we, I thought Is it about. by uh, Surrey Lane there? 
Uh, it's for Holcomb and um, Washington. All right. Yeah. We put in the uh, speed indicators, mm -hmm. the electronic speed indicators, and I think that's helped. Mm -hmm. Oh, down on what they are? Yeah, one south. Yeah. It's right before the curve. Yes. Yeah. Down, and the other one's at the north end coming south. Yeah. So I think that helps. They may speed in between. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, you know, they forget. Yeah, I mean, it's people forget. Down a few times. Well, it's a reminder. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like somebody's going to get you, but it's a reminder. Yeah. I ought to go slower here. Yeah. We've done sending on Main Street North and South. Yeah. So. Good. Anyway. Oh, good. Well, thanks. Lots we appreciate things. that. Yeah, I think it's all moving forward in a good direction. So. Yeah. Well, we appreciate so you good. popping in for Mayor on the Mic. This is on the Mic. And you're welcome to come back anytime. Thank yeah. You need us. Well, I enjoy the dialogue. No, I enjoy the are. little opportunity and the newsletter and so on. Yeah. Too. Just, sure. We just keep poking at stuff. And see that. So, uh, do you want to, yeah. because people can email you, right? Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. on the email, sure. Facebook messages, however they want to. Yeah, Haven, you. Haven E at the village of Clarkson or at village of Clarkson mm -hmm. or you can use my personal one up here, Haven Eric at Gmail. Okay. And so the next two meetings are at the library this Friday at seven o'clock and then the following Friday. Six and well. the thirteenth, yeah. Okay. Well, Friday. So mm -hmm. to get more information on sure. all the things Depot Park. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank right. you. Appreciate it. Cheers. Uh, cheers. Always. Oh, hold on. Cheers. Oh, we got to cheers. Okay, cheers. Come on. Cheers. Uh, polar. Oh, wait. Uh -huh. Polar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> We'd like the special. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Shameless, shameless. That's <laughs> such a shameless plug. I mean, I feel like it's a natural shit. fit, right? I do, too. I do, yeah. too. I'm not sure how far that will go, but <laughs> you just got to put it out there. It's oh the gosh. vision board. Hey, you, you never know. know. Right? It's, never the, know. it's the arch. It's the fan show. Oh, no, know, know unless you ask. <laughs> exactly. I love the arch idea. I haven't seen a picture of it. I'll have to look at that mock-up. Would you really like me to cool. send you the, uh, the various um, elements? Yeah, that'd be yeah. amazing, yeah. Sounds like a neat like announcement for the you know, sure this, downtown. This morning I just got this update from our designer, yeah, Tim Ep Epic. You know, Epic. No, I thought you said Evans at first. And Epic. Ep Evans is what. You are still alive. Oh, oops. just so you know. I mean, I don't. Oh, yeah. Uh, I want to show. I'd love to see.